bitch is gonna sing all night. All right. They gonna sing all fucking night. Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you, Seth. It's another sick and lit edition of Russell Shade, the natural selection. It's Monday Night Rollins, but actually it's Monday Night Shade with me, Russell Shade, to your next. Bitch, we're back for more reactions, commentary, shits, and giggles. Seth Rollins has given us high fashion couture Grinch. Avant-garde Grinch. That bitch look like, a, look like a reject Christmas Elvis tonight. No shade. Look at them leather pants, bitch. He got them from Timu. Tamu. Look at them glasses. Well, we're here tonight to see what Seth Rollins got to say. You know, him and CM Punk had it out last week, bitch. And so I'm definitely expecting CM Punk to interrupt what Seth Rollins got going on for this Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to shut up. We'll be here to see it. it. Starts with day one when I defend my world heavyweight championship against Drew McIntyre. Yes, also to you guys, there has been a lot of talk about day one coming back. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about day one, this pay per view event that they're bringing back. And is this honestly going to be an annual, annual thing? Oh, so Drew McIntyre interrupts, not CM Punk? Wait a minute. Is CM Punk on a Legends contract? I was not expecting Drew to come out tonight. Especially after what happened last week. Oh my god, he takes his coat off and bitches ruffles on his shoulders. God today! Look at Drew, looking like damn. <laughs> I got to step in the ring with this. What's those Christmas plants called? A poinsettia? <laughs> Seth. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Five man buns, please. Before you even open your mouth, I want you to know I haven't forgot that little headbutt from a few weeks ago. So tread lightly. And baby, we ain't gonna forget these shoulders from tonight. Look. Look at them shoulders. I'm not here to fight, Seth. We've got our match at day one, Seth. I'm here to tell you that I am proud of you. Look at these shoulders, baby. I don't know if I want to break out to the salsa a bitch. You walked out here. You looked him right in the eye. You told him the truth. Exactly the way it needed to be said. And that, my friend, is a real leader. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't even pay attention to the storyline. What's going on here? I'm so distracted by Seth Rollins' shoulders. Thank you. He put the belt over one of them. Thank you. They heard me. Cause baby, should have kept that cool on. Damn. Get to go home, spend it with your family, and that's been the case for you for years. And Recently, I've been doing a lot of reflection. I've been talking a lot about my family and the sacrifices they have made because I had a chance to go home not long ago. And I started to see things I didn't like so much. I started to feel a certain way. I started to feel guilt. Come on, y'all. I started to see my family members getting older. I started to see my dad getting older. And after 16 years, I, for the first thing ever I questioned, is that's not worth it? Is it? You put a lot into it, Drew. Is this it all is worth it? I feel that you can understand, you can possibly relate to. 
but you can. There's somebody in your household, somebody you share your life with. Your wife is the exact same position I am, all the way across the world, chasing this dream, doing whatever she can to make it happen, <coughs> sacrificing every single week and sacrificing that time with her family. And you've been part of those difficult conversations. And the good conversations, you know, man, I wish I could make this wedding back home, but there's a big show coming up and I can't let the family God down. damn it, would y'all hurry up? I don't have that much space on my device. When a family member gets sick, when a parent gets sick, my mom, her dad, and all we want to do is be by their side and hold their hand and be there for them when they're going through it. But they tell us, don't you dare come home. You keep chasing that dream and you make it happen. And that's exactly what we did. But then suddenly they're not here anymore. What done happened, Drew? What done happened? What happened? Did something happen on the back end we don't know about? Did somebody family member pass away? Sir, look me in the eye. I don't want your title. I need your title. I need that validation. I have to know all these sacrifices were worth it. I have to know the hurt that I caused them was for nothing. And I'm willing to hurt you Ooh. for everything. I will do whatever it takes to take that title from you at day one. At first, it sounded like a conversation he should have been having with Triple H and maybe, uh, you know, uh, Nick Khan, uh, maybe TKO Holdings. Um, Cause they've been putting him through it. He should have been had the title more than once. I don't think we really know entirely how to feel about you, man. Because you say stuff like that, I want to take it to heart. I want to believe you. But as of late, your actions and your words, they haven't lined up. So I don't know whether to believe you or call you out on your crap. They sure they ain't lining up. God, this. look at them shoulders one more time, y'all. <laughs> Damn. And you've done that. <laughs> but I want to know, Drew, as much as you need this, what makes you think the outcome this time is going to be any different? Whoa. You say you'll do whatever it takes. You say you're not the same person. What does that mean? You're willing to cheat. You're willing to lie. You're willing to hurt people. You're willing to take shortcuts. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, you change in that regard. But in many ways, you're the same. Because you still want to point the finger at everybody else. Oh. You still want to shift the blame. Yeah, Drew, you'll do whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes, except for the one thing that you need to do to be a world champion. You need to take responsibility for your actions. Ooh. You need to look yourself in the mirror, and you need to face the hard reality oh. that the only person keeping Drew McIntyre from being a world Is champion him? Is Drew McIntyre. Oh, you know what? I hate people that say that. And Drew has done everything in the book that he needed to do. He's been a face. He's been a heel, no, bitch. He's been a vigilante, bitch. Week, I looked a man right in the eye and like, I told him I hate him. I meant that. I'm looking you right in your eyes. And Drew, I don't hate you. I pity you. You pity him? Drew, headbutt, then combo into a claymore. Five, six, seven, eight. Merry Christmas, Drew. I'll oh. see you in a couple weeks. Oh, no! <laughs> no, he didn't. Thank you, and he grabbed him by that big-ass shoulder. You couldn't even, couldn't even grip nothing else. Oh, damn, Drew. Damn, Drew, how you let some how you let Seth do this to you with that shirt? This is not gonna age well. It's really not. Mm -mm -mm. 
tires. Now we'll witness in the physical embodiment of the tire. This is all the way up. Such criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research is not an infringement of copyright.